earlier this week, oh, I had some mouth sores, and it's kind of interesting because when I first oh, felt the pain, I wasn't sure if it was my tongue or my tooth. Oh, I, it, it was weird. It was just pain, and I knew if I licked my teeth, oh my god, it would hurt, and it made it very inconvenient to eat. I mean, it was still possible to eat, oh, and it forced me to eat very slowly. Like my favorite chips, you know, these are Boulder uh, chips made of coconut oil. Um, in a normal time, I, I could finish this bag in like 10 minutes, but now I have to literally eat one chip at a time. And, and still quite enjoy it, aside from the tongue pain. Oh, it was, it's still enjoyable. And then I, I went online to see if anybody has lost a lot of weight due to tongue pain. And people, there are people who intentionally do this. Uh, there's a tongue patch of surgery procedure where uh, the surgeon places some kind of a patch on one's tongue. Let's see if we can actually see a picture of it. And so many times they put solid food in their mouth, uh, it becomes painful. I mean, it's, poss it's still possible to eat, but it reminds you that you are eating, which is the key. See, I, the, the mouth pain, well, as long as it doesn't make it impossible to eat, oh, it, it, you know, it, it, it slows me down. And it, 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 two things. It's One, it slows me down when I'm eating, and two, it reminds me that I'm actually eating. It's so easy to get very involved in uh, writing computer games. Uh, see, when I write this, uh, well, this, is, this was automatically generated, but when I was writing stuff like this, like it might take me 20 or 30 minutes to come up with um, code like this. Um, and during that time, entire bags of chips can just disappear. And uh, uh, perhaps most uh, f most frightening is not that the bag of chips disappear, but that I have no recollection or enjoyment of eating it. You know, if, 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 if eating becomes a little, little bit painful or even just a little bit inconvenient, maybe I won't be able to eat while I'm coding, and it, it kind of forces me to focus on my food, which is how I've been handling food this week. And um, unfortunately, if history is any indicator, uh, my mouth will heal, and then a month from now I'll forget about this, which is a shame. So uh, that's, that's the only uh, drawback I... I I think of this of experiment a lot because this is a short term experiment. Eventually, I think it's a one month program and then they'll remove the patch and hopefully you'll learn from. See, the, the problem with um, learning this way is that uh, you, you only learn in a certain context. Um, you only learn in the context of having something in your tongue to eat in a certain way. You don't learn how to go on a date and eat it in a certain way. You don't learn how to write computer games and eat in a certain way. Oh, it kind of reminds me of an exam I took my first year at RIT, uh, where I st was studying my PhD. I had been up all night studying for an exam and just jamming to music. Uh, and when I went to the exam and it was all silent, I couldn't recall anything because of how silent it was. It, the, 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 the conditions weren't right. And uh, I literally had to think about music in my head to come up with the answers. And uh, I almost started to hum to the music and the professor kind of just stared at me. Um, anyway, so I, I, I think it could be a short-term jump start to, to help you realize that you, you can, um, that you can actually, because some people think that if you go eight hours without eating, you'll die. Um, I, I literally have people worried about me dying, you know, when I'm traveling and, and just can't find anything to eat. You know, one of my favorite concepts to use when I can't find something to eat is to use that as an opportunity to do an intermittent fasting. Uh, but it frightens people. Even my family gets very frightened. My uncle, he's a doctor, and he gets frightened about it. So it's, it just goes to show um, how uh, uh, some people uh, can use this as a short-term experiment to realize uh, some urban legends they may hold about uh, eating. Thanks for watching.